If you want to make these animated masks yourself, some of them are really quite easy. Let's start with the simplest of all, it's even available in the default VSE transitions. Add a camera to your scene, you may want to make it autographic, depending on what you want to achieve. Add a plane to your scene and scale it so it fills the camera. Give it a shadeless material. It's a good starting point for later masks that we will create together. Of course, we have to make the background completely black to get the values right. Make sure also that you set your shadeless white to fully white as shown. Now move your plane to the left, make a keyframe by hitting I and select Lock Rod Scale. At a designated later frame, mine is 50, move the plane to the right and keyframe its position again. You can add motion blur to make it look even smoother. If you want the plane to serve as a cut from one scene to another, just scale it to the left so it completely overlays the black at the final frame. Simply export your transition as JPEG and select black and white as we are working with grayscale images. And boom, we are done already! In another video, I will go through the creation of a few more interesting masks. For the animated ink masks that I showed you in the preview video, you may follow the tutorial by Blender Diplom and just make the ink fully black and the background fully white or vice versa. And that's the basics of creating custom transitions in Blender. I'm looking forward to the animated masks. I'm the Moon Man, wishing you a manacious time. Goodbye.